ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sylvie Gagnon, and this is my colleague François Tétrault. We are from the Mascouche Historical Society. Today, we are presenting the first video in a series of three on the history of Mascouche Heights to celebrate the neighborhood's 100th anniversary. In 1914, Harry Joy Sr., a British-born actor, acquired many properties on the Mascouche hillside. He was originally from England and his real name was Cardinal. But since he was a famous vaudeville comedian, the name Joy was more suitable. Here in Montreal, he worked as a tailor. He bought a piece of land in Mascouche and became a real estate developer. He bought some lands here in 1914 and sold them to his English-speaking clientele in Montreal. He developed several terraces with the real estate company Terbonne Garden. Harry Joyce saw the birth of the first streets in Terban Heights. Station and Maple Streets were the first. Station Street was originally planned to lead to the old Terban Railway Station, but the project was never completed. The street names Poplar, Maple and Pine were given in relation to the beautiful tall trees. And the Joy Street, well, it was named in his honor. In fact, Harry Joy didn't see the birth of all the streets in the neighborhood. What we call the English Road already existed around 1820 as the Rang du Grand Coteau. By 1833, all the land along this road has been granted, but they were used as woodland, except for a small portion of the land used as a farm by Lancelot Robinson's family. Mr. Robinson's descendants shared this portion of the rank until the end of the 19th century. On the south side of the rank, right after the great 90-degree curve, Thomas Phelan and his wife settled in the late 1840s with their five boys. Over the years, one of Thomas' sons purchased the neighboring land so that in 1880, the entire western part of the curve was owned by the Phelan family. The road was then called Phelan. The first English-speaking vacationers would call this street Independence Road, and then English Road became the official name given by the municipality. It was only after 1976 that it took the official French name of Chemin des Anglais. But enough about English Road. Back to the origins of Terban Heights. The project to develop and promote an area of this magnitude required financial resources that Harry Joy did not have. 100 years ago today, on February 28, 1920, Mr. Joy partnered with Montreal engineer Frank Edwin Fielding, who acquired a third of the company's shares. The firm is therefore known as Joy & Fielding and specializes in real estate and house building in Terban Heights. In fact, Fieldcrest Street was named in memory of his partner. The economic crisis that prevailed after the stock market crash in 1929 will affect Harry Joy a lot, to the point where he will have to get rid of his land. One of his financial backers, Carl J. Johnston, will inherit the remaining lands. Despite the crisis, a second sector will be developed in the 1930s and will take the name of Terban Garden. This area will include private, cedar, Dorset and Brunton Street, and then a little later a third area that will be located in the steep curve of English Road. It will be called Hyde Park. The first vacationers to settle in Turban Heights were soldiers of the First World War returning from Europe who were in search of the great outdoors, green settings, and calm. They are mainly English-speaking and from a middle-class background. Many, if not most, came from southwest Montreal. The cottages built at that time were usually made of wood and of modest size. Hmm. In the 1940s and 1950s, this community was independent and took its own decisions. The links with the municipality of Mascouche were very thin. People have requested a few times to become an autonomous city, but have not succeeded. 
Being far from the village of Mascouche, people will, will instead do their errands in Terrebonne. It was only in the late 1960s that Mr. Thomas Wood of Terbonites became a city councillor in Mascouche, and then the link got stronger with the municipality. The territory of Terbonites is now called Mascouchites, Upper Mascouche or Mascouche en haut, and today we tend to confine this area exclusively within the municipal boundaries of Mascouche, spreading over the heights of the hillside between Highway 640 and Chemin Sainte Marie. This is, however, incorrect. When the territory was named and established in the 1920s, the current municipal boundaries had no significance for the research vacationers. Therefore, in the mid-1970s, the green provincial road signs indicating Terrebonne Heights still stood as soon as you left Terrebonne city limits, exactly on the hillside slope at the foot of the summit on Chemin-Gascon, where today high-voltage power lines have been erected. Ah, oh, Terrebonne Heights, we could keep talking about it for hours since this area is so rich in history. Oh, indeed, my friend. 